Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our Certified Supplier Initiative Yunha Factory Tour. I'll be your host Darnell and this has been launched by the China Toy and Juvenile Products Association. We are here to evaluate factories based on our five criteria and these are product safety, safety assurance, specified standards, um, self-export capability, and social responsibility. I'm here today in sunny Yunha. It is well known as the wooden toy city of China and Yunha toys are actually exported to over 70 countries across the world. Now this little town here is actually a revenue generator for the country, for China. It actually generated in 2020 about 1 two billion dollars can you believe that so this town this small county actually is so promising so if you're a customer a client looking for a supplier now you have to stick around because we are going to be visiting Kidberry Toys Company Limited all right so let me give you a little bit of an overview about Kidberry Toys Company Limited the company was established in 2007 and they're actually uh, focused in producing wooden toys. So you're going to be seeing a lot of wooden toys as we go through this factory tour. They have obtained ISO 9001 certification for this factory and uh, BSCI uh, certification, FSC, CDEX or SEDEX, FCCA, SCAN and uh, other qualifications. They also comply with the US and uh, the EU standards such as the uh, STM F963 or the EN71. Now they have three factories but I'm in one of them right now. So actually this facility is actually brand new and it is about 20,000 square meters in total area. And they also have around 500 workers. So they're expecting a turnaround this 2021. Despite of the uh, what's happening right now around the world, they're expecting 30 million dollars, US dollars turn around this year. So that looks promising, right? But anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go straight to their workshop, straight to the showroom because I want to share this with you, right? So stick around if you're interested with Kid Mary Toys Company Limited. I just want to mention that standard production process and strict quality management system are one of the things that we're looking at when we're evaluating factories because this is one of our criteria as well. So let me just give you an overview of all the workshops. In 2021, they had a big growth because they increased the production line to four lines. Now each production line has 100 to 150 workers. Now, they also invested in new technologies and introduced automation of machines, pad printing, punching machines, painting equipment, sealing machines, and so on. Of course, they still have their semi-automatic machines. Of course, there are some toys that they produce that has a hand touch or labor of love, you know, handmade parts. But, of course, they invested in automation as well because they have to meet the increasing demand from all their customers. So the pledge or the aim is to have safe and reliable products. Quality inspectors are also assigned on each product line. I'm going to share that later on with you guys. What we have here is actually smoothens these parts. I'm going to show this with you guys. If you look closely, there are some you know, excess part of the wood after it's being drilled with a CNC machine, right? So I'm just going to take it for comparison. Let's move over there. All right, so that lady is going to feed all these, okay, the ones with the rough ones. And then when they come out from here, they already have been smoothened. So all this excess wood has been cleared. Okay, I'm not going to rip it, but that's what happens. It actually clears all these holes from this excess wood. Now, I want to share something. Can you Let's go. And here, and here it's a little bit loud, so let me just get one of these. So what we have here are parts of the toy. So you can see there are no holes, all right? And then when they come out, when they come out, they already have holes. 
compared to this one. So this is actually a drilling machine. It's a semi-automatic drilling machine. It goes here, they're being fed, all right? As you can see, everything goes at the right angle, all right? If I go like this, this one will still flip. You see? It's gonna flip. Come on. <laughs> there you go. So everything's oriented properly, as you can see. So I am at Kid Mary's uh, woodworking workshop. There are several types of uh, departments combined here because here are kind of like small items, right? She's looking for a specific item that might have rough surfaces. If she finds something rough, she's gonna use a filler. She's gonna just put that filler there and then somebody's gonna send that later on on a different part of this woodworking workshop. Now, that already is done. Yeah, okay. So now let's go to this part because I just want to represent uh, their major uh, departments here. So here actually is a quality inspector. What she's doing, she's checking each one of these. Visually, she's checking if there's gonna be some, some parts that are rough. If she finds something that's rough, for example, this one. This one is kind of rough, so this one didn't pass. This one goes over here, and the smooth one goes over there. All right? So let's, I can't wait because I just started this tour, so uh, stick around, let's move to the other one, all right? All right, so I'm in a special facility right now because behind me is actually a disc electrostatic automatic spraying machine. What does this do? Basically, this part of a toy, right? It's not painted will be fastened to this carousel. As you can see what's moving behind me right now, it goes around like a maze around this very huge facility. So they're gonna be hanging, right? And they'll enter this room behind me. Now, inside this room, which I cannot enter, this is where these boxes will be sprayed. Now, of course, it's a machine. It may fail, it may miss some spots. So actually, it can go twice into this machine, this whole carousel. So. If, in case this machine still misses some spot, we have a guy over there who's actually doing some finishing touches. All right, so I'm still in a painting facility. Now here, it's a little bit traditional because what we have here actually, what they're doing is still silk screen printing. It's highly effective and cost efficient because, you know, it's really simple, really straightforward, like this part, all right, this board is going to be part of a toy, it's blank. And then, actually what she's doing, she's just picking them up and then putting them underneath that silk screen and then rub some paint and there you go. We have already a printed back of this part of a toy. Now, keep in mind guys, of course they have full automation with their other facilities for other products, but sometimes there's always, uh, you know, this handmade touch makes everything special for kids, right? Here's how it actually looks like. That's why I said silk screen. Okay, so silk screen because actually this is a silk screen. Traditional way of printing, right? So they have the pattern specifically and then they just put the wood underneath it or anything that are needed and then they rub the paint. So this is pretty traditional, all right? So like our friend over here, he's getting some blanks, some blanks. And then if you just follow my hand, he gets to print this probably from some customer, right? This KM2152. But I want you to follow me over here. I want to show this quickly. So because there's this handmade touch, right? Uh, not only when it's handmade, those little bit of, not imperfections, but a little bit of handmade touch puts some special feel with all the toys. Like what she's doing right now. She's literally hand painting this part, this specific color. It looks like a makeup kit. So it, it's meant to be like a smeared, you know, color. So she's gonna put other colors there and it's gonna look like this. There you go. We are now in one of the assembly lines. Keep in mind, I mentioned earlier that they added actually four more lines. A little bit of upgrade because it increased uh, from the demand. So, uh, the first step, of course, I mean, it's a long, long way. I just want to cut the story short so that I can share with you at the end of this um, assembly line. So, basically, uh, our Hello, Nihao. Our friend over here, lovely lady over here, what she's doing, she's actually checking just for some imperfections, just some final checks, so she gets rid of these excess, um, maybe part of the wood, all right? And then once she's done, even uh, our lovely uh, friend over there, she's doing the same thing. She's scraping off some excess parts, could be some excess paint, could be some excess wood. And then, let's move over there. 
And then here, we're gonna skip on this part. We're actually, this part, they just put all these nylon, um, like uh, fasteners for the screws. I'll share you later on what's at the end of this assembly line. Now, on this part, so all these pieces of wood will be lined up together over there, and then she's gonna be applying some glue, all right? So now, it's starting to form. Remember, I showed you early on that flat board with the heart, remove the excess. So, now it's gonna look like this, all right? It's starting to look like something. Let's see what's, how it's gonna look like later on at the end of this uh, assembly line. So, we move over there. We have a pile of these already here. There you go. Now, on this part, it's starting to come to life. Now, what she's actually doing is continuing with the assembly line, all right? She's getting one of these, and she's adding some glue on this part, all right? It's coming to life. I, I, I like, hello guys, I don't know if you can see my reflection. <laughs> so, she's applying some glue because she's gonna be installing, all right? She's gonna be installing some boards, some planks from this semi-finished part. All right, she's gonna be installing these, okay? And it's gonna look like this. Let me just share this with you. Once everything's glued, actually, it's gonna look like this, all right? Just have to be careful. Okay, let me just get a sample over here. And here's the actual finished product. It's dry and everything. I think you've seen this earlier on in the uh, disc electrostatic automatic spraying machine. This how these were painted. So basically, this is a finished product right now. Let's check. I just want to share what's happening over there. Let's go over here. Okay. Ah. Okay. This is some other part or, uh, from another the toy, probably from a small crib or a pretend play DIY crib. So she's exactly doing the same thing. But because this actually goes a long, long way, they have other uh, assembly lines over here. Right, so we are here at Kid Mary's uh, laboratory testing room. So here are more on the uh, physical testing uh, equipment. So I have here a couple of things because we have to ensure the safety of each toy. What we're talking about here are children's toys, so safety is a must. So we have here, uh, for example, this one of physical testing tools is uh, the, the push and pull gauge, right? This one here is the, uh, the twist tool. So basically, the the toy is gonna be uh, put into some some situation let me just go grab this for example this toy they test it all right this, it's gonna be in a clamp and they're gonna try to twist it and see how long it can withhold that force or that torque or that tension and the same for the push and pull we have a caliper we have different other gauges but I want to highlight this one actually because there are so many tools actually on the table here and there are too many to mention uh, this one is pretty interesting that's why I picked this one because this one actually simulates the mouth and the throat of a child so for example there's a, a toy uh, that um, is for let's say three years old and below or this specification of certain uh, age bracket so they use these to simulate the mouth and the throat so if they go through it means it's not for that age bracket so this one actually determines uh, that and of course all these tools go through an annual calibration not this one okay this one actually it shows here it says 2022 on May 16th when uh, it's gonna be expiring so every year they all check these tools to be calibrated to ensure that the measurements the reports are actually uh, accurate and I have here the last one is which is my favorite of course the impact test tool. it's really easy I just drop it that's it so that's how they test them so how durable how strong how safe the toys are so this special instrument here or machine here actually it's simple straightforward it's in a cage you put the, the toys here it's gonna be submerged for uh, four minutes and then it's gonna resurface and they're gonna they're gonna check if and then the uh, quality inspector uh, will check the toy if the glue is still intact actually that's how you test the quality as well not just about safety but also uh, about quality now also let me just mention before we move to the other facility that they also uh, comply with the standards for European and American markets, which means the EN71 and ASTM F963 and others as well. So I'm going to move to the next facility, so I want you to stick around, all right? Let's check it out.
All right, so here is the finished product uh, that came fresh out from that assembly line. So actually there were two, but this one was the crib part I shared with you later. But anyway, so I know your time is gold, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna feature one product, all right? So our featured product is the simulated playhouse. When I say playhouse, it means kids get to interact and enjoy like a pretend play for example we have an oven here there are a little bit of you know things that you can spin there's gonna be some spatula some frying pan a little faucet here you'll notice the design are kind of different because it depends on the age bracket now this one i'm not sure if you can open it okay maybe not okay so this is a simple design but let's move over here so we have another kitchen set over here, but I want to make sure that I feature, okay, this one's kind of like uh, probably uh, three to four years old. You can tell by the design, right? So then it gets a little bit realistic, right? And then this is what I really want to share with you guys because there are a couple of things here that are really, really interesting. So I have here two, they're still part of that product line. As you can see here, we have like a barbecue set, right? We have a carpenter's table here. If I were four years old, this would be like heaven for me because it's endless fun. Check this out. You have a screwdriver, you have a hammer, you have a wrench, you have a, a plier, you have a saw. You even, oh wow, you, I didn't know. You even have this, I forgot what it's called, like, um, you know, when they cut wood, right? But the thing is, this is not just for aesthetics or for design. Actually, it is an educational learning uh, toy as well because, you know, for dexterity, for kids. Because I have a kid who has autism and this is what they use for um, occupational therapy or ABA therapy. Uh, and this is really important because like, for example, this uh, nut and bolt, actually it also works with the wrench. Look at that, see? And we have different sizes of the wrenches, the screwdrivers. You can place them like a real carpenter, right? The pretend play is really important because it's not only important uh, for your kid, it's also important for other kids because they get to interact. Interacting with other kids means growth. It can boost confidence for the kids. There's so many benefits, endless benefits when a kid plays with another kid and then they play with a pretend uh, simulation uh, like this one, like this carpenter's table, for example, or maybe barbecue, right? Communication skills are built, you know? They, they communicate uh, with other kids and it gives them that confidence. All these things are really, really beneficial. And of course, I have here a bunch of certificates and reports I just want to share with you guys. I know I mentioned this earlier, but here are some of the uh, the things that I want to share, share with you. This is uh, the uh, test report for the uh, EN71. It means all their products are compliant uh, with the European standards. By the way, this is just one piece, but actually it's, they showed me like it was this thick because each product they go through all these different test uh, reports to, to, to comply with the standards with the EN71 for Europe and ASTM for the United States. And of course, this factory is uh, certified ISO 9001. And to prove that, I have a copy of the certificate over here. All right. And not only that, of course, they care for their employees. I have here the BSCI. That means Kid Mary is actually five stars when it comes to social responsibility. I've, I've seen it myself. So this is the BSCI report. And then they have the scan security audit as well, awarded to Kid Mary, there you go. And of course, the FCCA, all right, from Walmart, and the uh, FSC, all right. So these are just some of the certifications, some of the reports uh, that, they, um, that they've shared with me. But I mean, if you're gonna be looking for a partner, a supplier, you have to look for uh, a company that actually that has credibility, you know, that actually is trusted and has been in the business for a very, very long time.
All right, so we are here right now at the research and development facility or department of Kid Mary. So we have actually around one, two, three, around 10 designers that are here right now. I just want to focus or feature out there three top designers. They actually have a long experience and expertise in this field. Actually, most of them are, are actually working on different projects right now. I can see here, we're going to be seeing some of these uh, products later on. Um, they've been using 3D uh, modeling, they use all these, um, you know, AI, they use all these Coral Draw and different, or different softwares to design, to uh, come up with new concepts. Uh, probably if you want to do um, OEM or if you want to uh, request some other designs, your personal requirements, this team actually can provide that for you. So. I guess I'm going to be leaving these guys and let's move to the other facility. Alright, so one of the uh, criteria that we're looking at is the social responsibility. This is really, really important because it's not only about, you know, ensuring that your workers, your employees are working hard, efficient, productive. You have to make sure that you're taking good care of your employees. This includes, like, in this case, the canteen. All right, so uh, Kid Mary actually has 23 tables to be exact, and they can actually cater up to more than 160 employees at a time. So they serve good food here. It is a company-owned restaurant. We actually had lunch here earlier on. I love Chinese food, and it's so authentic. And I can't believe they actually serve it to their employees because, you know, being a certified supplier, you have to meet these requirements. So I give them five stars for this part. All right, finally, I get a hold of our good friend over here, Joel, the, the uh, general manager. Hello, Joel. And Hi. I'd like to thank you for all the hospitality that we've been, I mean, we were here the whole day and you guys took care of us and showed us around the factory. And it's so amazing. I'm so blown away because you know, I'll never see toys the same ever again. It's like, I appreciate how craftsmanship, you know, how, how uh, you know, all this uh, dedication and passion of workers just to produce, let's say, a small wooden toy. So anyway, thank you so much for the, uh, for all the time that you've spent with us. But anyway, I have two questions for you. So um, I want to know, and maybe our audience want to know as well, uh, how long has uh, Kid Mary been in the toy business? And can you share something about that? Uh, Kid Mary is uh, founded in 2007, mm -hmm. but um, actually uh, our business with wooden toys is uh, longer than Kid Mary is founded. Mm -hmm. uh, since my parents started uh, wooden toys in 1989, mm -hmm. and so the history of our business is over 30 years. Over 30 years, so yes. it's way further than what I knew. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. That's why I really want to really want to catch you and ask you this question because sometimes, you know, um, uh, family business or this, like for example, this one, Kid Mary Factory. I know there's a deeper history that goes along what I know. I only know the tip of the iceberg or just the surface. So it's way beyond in 1980. Uh, 1989. 1989. Wow. So you guys really know this with the toy business very very well huh oh absolutely i grew up with all wooden toys you must be really lucky because you, you're fortunate to have all these toys okay that's really that's really interesting to know and then uh second is because speaking of toys speaking of kids you grew up around you know with all this wood toy building i mean i was a kid too now i'm a parent and uh it is really important and imperative for me to know whenever i purchase a toy or maybe I'm gonna be a businessman and want to invest with toys so for Kid Mary how do you guarantee um, safety and uh, quality with uh, with your products <clears throat> well uh, because like wooden toys is target to ch um, baby and child Children, yeah. yes that's why and uh, this is very important to us so and actually like in our mind mm -hmm. the safety and uh, safety issues is rooted in our mind, mm -hmm. even in every workers. So when we start uh, design business, uh, design um, wooden toys, mm -hmm. and uh, we try to avoid every detail to avoid the points can cause safety mm -hmm. issue. So, 
and uh, uh, after uh, samples made, mm -hmm. and uh, we will um, make physical and uh, chemical tests okay. oh. by our our lab, mm -hmm. and then we after um, we think it's okay, mm -hmm. we will send to uh, professional institute uh, for third, testing. Third party testing. Yes, yeah. the third party. So unbiased uh, results, right? So from from in-house testing, and then as well accredited agencies or third party testing. Yeah. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, then? and after every part confirmed its safety and the quality is good, mm -hmm. then we will start to mass production. Mm -hmm. So and uh, after uh, during the mass production and every detail every step need to confirm bef um, before uh, confirmed by our QC before before mass production. Yeah, I saw the quality inspectors on each uh, product line or uh, yeah yes. even in the assembly line everything. Every part. Always check check. Check, yes. Check. So that that's re really really. Uh, that's why, that's why uh, I was I was telling myself I was like I will never see toys the same ever again. I have huge respect on I just a wooden toy. Imagine all the 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 dedication just to ensure safety. Yeah. Yes. The wooden the wood materials mm -hmm. from nature. It's not a. Uh, it's not like plastic. It's not, it's not synthetic. Yes. So it's natural wood. Yes. It's easy to like. Uh, it produce is small parts mm -hmm. or sharp edge mm -hmm. or mm, mm, sh sharp point. Mm -hmm. So it is it is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like if we don't Pretty care, much. yes. Yeah. So I, I, I like what you mentioned earlier. Sorry to uh, cut you off when you mentioned uh, from the worker level mm -hmm. up from the designer to the worker level to the upper management to the quality inspector. So when you mention that, it's like from top level up to the first the front lines from the people who cut from the raw wood, everybody's thinking about safety and quality, huh? Uh, yes. Mm. Like, um, like, uh, like in the um, basic level, like mm -hmm. uh, workers level, mm -hmm. like uh, an inspector, mm, before they cut, mm -hmm. inspector need to um, sign, uh, design, uh, uh, confirm the piece mm -hmm. and uh, and left this uh, piece on the side of the machine mm -hmm. and uh, the workers need to cut and uh, like every half hour to check whether this piece is correct size every half hour every half hour so in an eight hour shift that's 16 times yes. right yes wow and the inspectors uh, uh, half hour is like uh, workers check by themselves mm -hmm. and uh, the inspector mm -hmm. they check uh, like every two, uh, two times every day. Wow, wow, I'm really, really impressed. Yes, in every step. Yeah, fr from the first level. That's just from the first level, yes. right? Yes. Wow, and then I was looking at the assembly line. I'm, I'm just really amazed on how everything works. And yeah, I'm still, I'm still actually overwhelmed with what I've seen the whole day. I was just excited because I'm 43, but I still a kid at heart because I have four kids. So, wow. yeah, I know. It's always a <laughs> wow with, with all the uh, the big bosses when I go to factories. But I, I appreciate toys a lot, even if I'm 43, you know, because uh, I want to be a kid at heart so I, I can relate to my kids. So toys are really close to me. That's why I'm here, you know. But anyway, my pleasure. Yeah, so, jo uh, so Joel, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for, for your time. Uh, I know your time is really valuable because I was like, can you give me five minutes? I said, okay, yes. So, <laughs> thank and, you. Yeah, thank you really so much for your time. So, uh, but before anything else, uh, if you want to get in touch with Kid Mary, of course you can contact them directly or you can contact CTJPA, uh, CTJPA as well, right? We'd love to help you out so that you can get in touch with Joel and the whole Kid Mary family, right? Yes. All right. So thank you so much, guys. And we ran out of time. And I'm afraid me and Joel have to go. So for now, let's say bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.